It's Wednesday, November 6th, 2013. I'm David Pierce, and in my free time, I like to go big bird watching, though most people just call that Sesame Street. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge. The tech scene has lost its cheerleader. Bill de Blasio has been elected mayor of New York City and will take over for Michael Bloomberg on January 1st. During Bloomberg's tenure, technology became the second largest industry in New York City behind finance. While de Blasio hasn't made startups as large a focus, he has committed to expanding broadband access throughout the boroughs, as well as investing heavily in tech education. Bloomberg's aggressive boosterism, meanwhile, will live on in Chicago. Mayor Rahm Emanuel has vowed to double the city's tech sector over the next decade. The long-awaited nail has finally reached the coffin. Blockbuster will close its last 300 retail stores in the U.S. by early January. While Blockbuster's streaming rental service will still exist, the company's fallen far from its throne. At its peak, the rental giant was operating over 9,000 stores worldwide. Honestly, my first reaction was Blockbuster still has 300 stores? And finally, calm down, everyone. There is no zombie apocalypse. In what was called a, quote, internal production problem, Fox News' website appeared to be defaced yesterday afternoon, with headlines referencing gold miners and, yes, zombies. Fox now says that the mishap was the result of a prototype homepage accidentally being published onto its main site. As for The Verge, we will continue prototyping our homepage using pictures of Bjork dressed as an otter. That's it for today's top stories. Coming up tomorrow, I continue my month-long hunt for the perfect turkey.